I'm Jane Westman, your book marketing pro and founder of Jane Westman Public Relations. Today, I'm speaking with my colleague, Andrea Stein. We've worked together now for almost 30 years. We'd like to talk a little bit about what authors need to do to prepare for their media interviews. So why don't you go back 30 years <laughs> and talk a little bit about the changes that we've seen in the media? When we were doing this 30 years ago, 20 years ago, there were a lot more opportunities for business books to get reviewed. There were newspapers that ran regular, you know, biz books columns, um, magazines, uh, Business Week magazine had a, a book review section that covered business books. And almost all, if not all of that has disappeared, which has meant that it puts the onus a lot more on the author to participate in their book marketing, that book reviews are going to be rare and that really what they're going to be working with are interviews or writing articles, which is a, a separate a separate piece. The other thing that has really happened in the interview space is we used to schedule a lot more television and radio um, for our business authors. There were a lot more um, small biz radio shows that aired on, on regular terrestrial radio stations, or um, there were some cable networks that interviewed management consultants about their business books. And that has all disappeared. What has come in its place is a great opportunity for um, authors to be interviewed on podcasts, but it really changes how the author has to think about doing their interview. It's also, generally speaking, a much longer interview. It is not uncommon for an interview on a podcast to be the full show, 45 minutes to an hour, which can feel like a great opportunity, especially, you know, for an, our authors are such subject matter experts and they love to talk about their subject matter. And many of them are... Um, in their heart, they're teachers. They, they've they gone into management consulting because they want to teach people how to do things better. But when you're doing an interview about your book and your goal is to get people to buy the book, what you want to be doing in that interview is not teaching everything you know, but you want to be explaining in a way that is going to make listeners realize, I need to buy that book. I need to read that book for myself. And maybe hire this person to work with my company. So I like to think of it a little more softly. You're trying to get people interested in reading, <laughs> reading the book. Okay. okay. And, Fair and enough. So you're really competing, not just with other book authors, but with all of the information that's out there. And I, I think that the idea that the author actually has to be the salesperson or or promote their book makes some people uncomfortable. Some, some of our clients feel uncomfortable doing this, and we really try to help them enjoy the podcast interview, feel enthusiastic about the podcast interview. There was a time when we could publicize business books by getting the business books reviewed. The New York Times business section ran a monthly review of business books. That doesn't happen. The Wall Street D Journal does review books, but often they're not business books. It could be books about politics, social issues, fiction. And the other, the other big difference is that with podcasts, people are no longer like, it's not like the radio dial where you, where people would have the radio on it could be in the background but the radio would be on you know throughout the day or for a couple of hours at a time or that tell or people would tune into television because they wanted to watch a particular morning show such as today or good morning america or a particular news show so the audience was already there to see the 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 television show or to listen to that radio show. Whereas now, as you say, the audience has to make an effort to go online and decide to listen to a podcast. 
So, so you do not have an audience that's captured for you. You, as the author, need to maintain the audience, audience's interest throughout the entire interview. So it is a burden. It's a, it's a lot to place on an author's shoulders. And we try to help them prepare uh, for these interviews and also to focus on their, their message points and to be clear about what, a, what is the repeated message that they're trying to get out there to generate interest in the book. So Andrew, why don't you address this idea of what is a message point? How do we develop a message point? A message point or a um, couple of message points that you would want to come back to are the the key idea that you want to get across in your interviews. And one of the ways that we think of these um, is to think about what problem are you solving? Um, what piece of expertise, what piece of advice how are you helping your the audience of this show and therefore the the readers of your book so for example if you've written a book about corporate culture what are the issues that that business people are struggling with are they struggling with the fact that it's they have to now build culture remotely because so few people are in the office or is what they're struggling with the fact that business is now global and people are coming into their virtual offices with different with co different cultural backgrounds and maybe some different understanding of key terms or whatever the issue is framing it you know, coming up with a message that frames this is the problem you're facing and this is what you need to solve it is is a big way that we look at the at the message points so uh, to break it down there are three things that i think about with message points one is who is the author what is the author's expertise what is the problem uh, that they're solving? What is the pain point that the that the reader is dealing with? And what is the solution? And when you look at those three, three keys and you think about that uh, when you're doing your interviews, one of the things you're going to want to talk uh, talk about a little bit would be, in, in my experience of the past 10 years or in working with uh, leaders in, in, um, in startup companies, this, this is what I've discovered has been holding them back. And this is what they can do about it. This is what you, uh, as a listener to this podcast, can do. And I explain a lot more about this in my book, or I wrote this book to try to overcome this problem. So you really have to go back to your book and your passion for the book and why you wrote the book and what problems you are trying to address and not just address the problems, not say this is what people need to do to overcome this problem, but more like I've seen this problem. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very concerned about it. I have a solution. That's what this book is all about. That's what I put into my book. And that's a very difficult transition to make. But we try to help our clients and it's just part of our services um, that uh, along with the overall strategy, the writing of press materials, uh, the reaching out to the media, um, helping our authors prepare for their interviews is a really important service that we provide. And we hope this video interview will help you as an author do better in your next interview. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you, Jane. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.